What are the deciding factors for hiring a CEO? How does a board ensure succession planning? Um, at the sea level. So some people will say that the hiring and firing the right or hiring the right CEO is is you know sort of the sine qua non of you know what a board does effectively. And and it's really hard as you can imagine because CEO influences everything uh, and and the right CEO can really make or break the company. So again, it's going to depend on what the company's needs are. But I think the, the, first, the first and most important piece is to really understand and define the company's needs. And let me give you an example uh, where that actually was a live situation. I was on the board of a nonprofit that was undergoing significant, significant change. Uh, the CEO had left. And we had uh, someone who had stepped in to be the interim CEO who had committed to serving as the interim CEO for a period of six months. Well, we couldn't even begin a CEO search for about a year and a half. And, and the reason is because as a board, we recognized that things were changing and we had not coalesced as a board to really define what direction we wanted things to go into. This was a, a national nonprofit that had all kinds of different constituencies on the board, and it was a, a very big discussion. Mm -hmm. and, and so until you know where you want the company to go as a board, you're doomed to failure in hiring a CEO. You, you just are. Once you know where you want the company to go, then it's, okay, what are the characteristics that are going to help us get there? And, and it might be that you need an enormous change agent, or maybe not. You know, maybe, maybe you need a very steady hand, or you know, someone that can make change with a steady hand, or someone that can make change by breaking a lot of glass. You know, it, it really comes down to an analysis of what does the company need, and then uh, you know, that's, that's sort of the, the softer skills, but then also what does the company need uh, in terms of understanding. Uh, if, if the company is a traditional company, but all of a sudden its world has been turned upside down mm -hmm. by new competitors who have a different type of business model enabled by technology, do you need someone who understands those technologies better? Um, and is that more important than someone who understands the industry? So it's a really difficult decision. And, and the, the short answer is, you know, there's no right answer, but, but really thinking from it about it carefully and from a very strategic lens is, is wow. really the, the, you know, sort of best practice in, in finding the right CEO. And then in the C-suite in general, um, so, so just you know, sort of briefly, the same considerations apply there, but, but this is another indication of how the board is changing, is that it used to be that uh, anyone below the CEO was you know, hired by the CEO, and you know, the board would say, you know, yes, that's fine, mm -hmm. um, and that would be the end of it. That's not true anymore. The, the board is taking a much deeper look at some of the key roles uh, in the C-suite. They're not making the decision, but they are you know, sort of getting involved in the interviewing process and expressing opinions. Uh, and, and then ultimately, it still remains the CEO's decision. But it gets back into this question of you know, the board's role is getting deeper in terms of defining the company strategically, and so therefore, there is an influence that gets a little bit deeper down into uh, the uh, C-suite level.